Hi everyone, today we're solving a problem from the book 50 Challenging Problems in Probability. A box contains red socks and blue socks. When two socks are drawn at random, the probability that both are red is half. How small can the number of socks in the box be? How small if the number of blue socks is even? This is a really interesting problem. I encourage you to pause the video and try yourself. All right, I hope you were able to give that problem a try. Let's move on to talking about the solution. Let's first look at an example and use it to define some decision variables. Let's set the variable b as the number of blue socks in the box and the, and the variable r as the number of red socks in the box. In our example, b is equal to two and r is equal to five. Now, we know that the probability that the first sock is red is simply equal to the number of red socks divided by the total number of socks in the box, which is r divided by r plus b, which in this case is 5 sevenths. Now, the probability of drawing the second sock and the second sock being red is r minus 1 divided by r minus 1 plus b, because there is one less red sock in the box, but the number of blue socks in the box has remained the same. Therefore, the probability that the second sock is red would be 4 divided by 6. Now, we can move on to try to find the probability that both of the socks are red. We can use the observation that the first and second draws are independent from each other to notice that the probability that both socks are red will be equal to the probability that the first sock is red multiplied by the probability that the second sock is red. Plugging in the numbers, in our example, we get 5 by 7 times 4 by 6, which is equal to 10 by 21, which is not half. Therefore, we know that our example of two blue socks and five red socks is not a valid solution to this problem. Let's move on to try to generalize this problem to find a solution now that we've worked through an example. We know that we can set the probability that sock one is red and sock two is red as half. Further, we know the formulae for both of these probabilities. Now, we make a quick observation. Over here, we have only one equation. However, we have two unknowns, the number of red socks and the number of blue socks. This by itself is not enough information for us to solve the problem. However, we can make another observation to find a second equation that can help us approach a solution. We realize that for any number of blue socks that is greater than zero, the fraction r divided by r plus b, or the first draw's probability of being red, must always be greater than the second draw's probability of being red. You can verify this for yourself. Using this observation, we can now substitute in the first draw for the second draw and the second draw for the first draw to get a pair of inequalities. We can now combine these two inequalities to get the following expression. This expression allows us to find the relationship between the two variables in two separate inequalities, therefore allowing us to start solving the problem. Let's now try to simplify out this inequality. We take the square root of all of the terms. Now, we can start working on the left inequality and the right inequality separately. Let's start working on the left inequality and try to simplify it out a little bit. Similarly, let's take the right inequality and simplify that out further as well. Now that we've expressed both of our inequalities in terms of the variable r or the number of red socks, we can combine them back together to form another paired joint inequality. Finally that we have this equation, let's try plugging in some values. For example, let's say that the number of blue socks is equal to one. In this situation, we know that R is bounded by 2.414 and 3.414. Since we know that we are solving an integer problem where the number of red socks cannot be a decimal value, we know that the only possible value of R is three when the number of blue socks is one. Therefore, the total number of socks is b plus r, which is 1 plus 3, which is 4. This gives us a valid solution to our problem for part A. Let's now move on to part B. Part B is asking us to find how small 
the number of socks can be if the number of blue socks is an even number. Again, let's write out the paired inequalities that we found in our last part. Given this paired inequality, we can now go through the same process we went through when trying to solve part A, where we choose a value for the number of blue socks, and then use that value to make a corresponding set of bounds for the number of red socks. Once we have the bounds for the number of red socks, we can use that to strictly define how many red socks are possible, since the number of red socks needs to be an integer value, and that helps us find the probabilities that both draws are red socks. Finally, we can verify these joint probabilities to check if any of them are equal to half. We keep increasing the number of blue socks until we find a solution that is equal to half. Over here, we found that the smallest number of blue socks that gives us the probability of both socks being red as half is 6. Therefore, with 6 blue socks and 15 red socks, our minimum number of socks, if the number of blue socks must be even, is 21. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more.